Good afternoon, my name is Mary Culbertson. I'm the Treaty Commissioner for Saskatchewan. I'm here today with Madeline, Madeline and Olivia, two students from Edie Fee in High School that we have had the good fortune to meet. They are here today to share a very powerful message that will touch your hearts and touch your minds. It's about why we are all treaty people and the importance of the treaty relationship today here in the province of Saskatchewan and throughout our treaty territories. My name is Madeline LaFramboise. I'm a Métis student. And I'm Olivia Maurice. I'm Dene from English River First Nation, and we are both in grade 11 at Edie Fian High School. We would like to honor the fact that we are in sacred Treaty 6 territory, homeland of the Métis. We are pleased to come together to be a part of this historic event for the installation of a treaty medal at our school. In this moment, we have the opportunity to make a difference and to set the tone for what reconciliation means to us. We are here today because we have power, we have voice, because we feel comfortable and we know this is a safe space for us to express ourselves. We're proud to be a Following Their Voices school, a school that understands the sacredness of building relationship, a school that champions all students, but also focuses on the success of Indigenous youth. Installing the Treaty Medal is one way of affirming our identity, and we hope it provides an opportunity for all to engage in critical thought, conversation, and action. The Treaty Medal is a replica of medals originally presented to participating First Nation chiefs in commemoration of the treaty. It portrays a treaty commissioner grasping the hand of a First Nations man. Between them lies a hatchet buried in the ground. The other symbols on the medallion, the grass and the water, symbolize that this treaty is to last for as long as the sun shines, the grass grows, and the river flows. While the medal is a symbol, we don't want it to be an example of tokenism. It's not just another poster on the wall. We want it to be a genuine catalyst for building relationships from this point forward. When you look at it, we hope you live it and we hope you feel it. When you walk by the plaque, we want you to remember that we all have responsibility to respect and honor the treaties, to understand that each day you benefit from treaty. The land was not surrendered or given away. The agreement was that the land be shared. First Nation peoples have upheld their end of the treaties and it's time for others to follow suit. The medal serves as a teaching tool. We have the opportunity to open our minds, educate one another, to break stereotypes, and rethink power structures. We aim to decolonize the system and to make space for something there wasn't space for before. We talk about reconciliation and this is one small step towards that. But reconciliation is about more than being nice. We need to acknowledge what happened and what is still happening today. We need to recognize our roles and we need you to act and to be an ally. We need to acknowledge that we are all treaty people. I acknowledge that I am Indigenous and this is my identity. Non-Indigenous people need to acknowledge that they are settlers who do benefit from this land and that is part of their identity as well. Reconciliation cannot happen unless we tie ourselves to our history in order to move forward. While our contexts and situations are different, we want to work together. We want to build relationships and follow through on our promises the same way we would in a family. We are diverse but we are inclusive and we hope to build a deeper understanding of one another. We are in this together, and we are all treaty people. Thank, Thank you. you.